Welcome, you are, to Let's Play Hero of Bomberman. Mmm! Strange this is. Journey Silent Senior 09 shall take. Much failure you can expect. Also, potential success. One can hope only. Let us proceed, shall we? Yeah, I see you, dude. <laughs> You're very persistent. And I laughed one too many times there. You think you can defeat me? Me? What are you, some kind of self-righteous jerk? You can never win! You tell that, butthead. Here I come. Get ready for pain. Ugh, ha ha, you just shut up, old man. You're gonna take your old medicine and I'm gonna give it to you whether you want it or not. Oh, come on, aim, dude! What are you doing? Yeah, so as you might be able to tell, I actually failed at this a few times. Yeah, I decided to save you all that kind of pain. I mean, I know I said I'm probably gonna fail, and I will probably fail, I promise you. Yeah, there you go. Fail it, Javoy. So, Bagular has two attacks, presently. And I say that with an asterisk next to it, because later on, you'll see why. He basically dives across the room like, in, like he's some kind of swooping ninja here. And he also throws these shadow bombs that basically explode into three different directions. I am taking all kinds of hits. What is the matter with me? Sit down, dang it! And that's the other thing that he does that just annoys me and makes me impatient. That's part of the problem with this fight is I'm impatient. I want to get through it. So once you've beaten him in this physical form, we now have to take on his digitized form here. Oh, laugh it up and yuck it up until I put egg in your face, dude. So, phase two of the fight is much similar to a fight against the three Post Sisters in a Legend of Zelda game. We have to guess exactly which fi which are the fakes and which one's real. We really only want to hit the fake one, but if you get a fake one, fake television I should say, I don't know how I managed to pull this off, that's pretty impressive technology. Basically, he'll laugh. The screen, I mean, will laugh. And then the one that's real obviously will take damage and run away. And of course, he'll just go around the room electrocuting you, laughing every time he runs into you, or you run into him, one of you two, whichever happens first. This is the part of the... Okay, there we go, we got the fight done. Thank gosh. Oh man, 4960? I don't know if that's gonna be enough, and I've already gotten so much damage. Once you've completed the first two phases, though, he locks himself in one final time into this giant robot, equipped with two shields and two arms, as well as an infinite supply of rockets. And a hidden laser. Quit laughing, you dummy. I got you right where I want you, I'll have you know. You're nice and trapped, just where I want you. Just where I want you. Alright, so, left arm. It throws lasers. Right arm, it just attacks. It just kind of jabs out with electricity. It doesn't really do anything special. If you're lucky, which I'm not so lucky right now, apparently, he'll only attack with the left arm. And you won't take damage. Would you stop? I will personally kick your butt if you get hit, get hit by that rocket one more time and hit the freaking arm! Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Ugh. All right, so this is what happens when you lose the fight. That's right. We gotta start all the way back on phase one. If you thought versing Altair or Sirius back in Bomberman 64 was bad, you haven't tried doing this, obviously, and earning a five. So not only you're trying to beat the clock, much like the last game, but you're also trying to beat this guy. Yeah, they really uh, pulled out all the stops on the final boss fight. I think a few too many if you ask me, but anyway, that's just my opinion. So I, I don't know whether I'll keep this, I probably will, because I mean, shoot, the whole freaking video is just going to be this fight and whatever the credits are going to be. And like, like I've noticed in the last two videos, they were a lot shorter than I thought they were going to be, because I keep forgetting boss fights in this game really... Well, I don't keep forgetting, but I just forgot. Boss fights are not that long. Shut up, I don't want to hear you laughing. So, I'm just going to probably show most of my attempt here, my second attempt and first attempt, you know, because I'm like, hey, I'm no perfect person. I mean, the last video clearly doesn't demonstrate that, because I'm like, I've kicked some serious one booty. Would you please? Thank you. 
Yeah, so you, you definitely want to try and leave yourself as much time as you can. Stop aiming for the same television, dude. Stop, and stop interrupting yourself with tangent thoughts. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I don't really know if there's like an efficient way to tell which one is the real one immediately when you're trying to guess. I'm sure somebody could probably point that out to me. You know, especially considering the way I... I mean, I'm blind as bad sometimes when it comes to trying to find the real one. Oh, good. Thank goodness. We needed that all that time, dude. If you get about 5,000 seconds, you got a pretty, you got a pretty solid time. You're, you're even better if you can get 6,000, but, you know, you know how it is. All right, locked and loaded. Stay put, dude, because I'm going to blast your machine all the way to pieces. All the way to pieces? Good grammar, dude. GG. Yeah, well, he who laughs last laughs best. Ha 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 ha! Ha 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 ha! Ha 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 ha! Okay, sorry. <laughs> I couldn't resist trying to do the walk a lot, or the walk laugh, the title slot. Come on, dude. Final Fantasy, dude. Know your, know your stuff. Oh, man. I was tempted to just put a put a clip there of it, but I'm like, nah, I should probably go ahead. That's probably been overdone by a lot of people. Oh, would you stop with the rockets? You're worse than freaking high-tech harvester from the giant chocolate chip. I still can't get over the nickname I gave that thing. Oh, will these arms please go away? I almost just want to tank these heads, but after the last fight, you know, I don't really want to... That. Oh, thank gosh, that's done. Stop aiming for his face. You can't aim for him. Now you can aim for his face. Alright, so we got 2,000 seconds. We can do this. Okay, so a trick with this guy I've noticed is he kind of has to stop whenever he does a shooting attack. I mean, he will move, but if you kind of just jump and continue throwing bombs at his face like this, this is a nice safe bet. You can also kind of weave in and out of the rockets he's shooting now. Of course, I say that now and I'm going to get hit probably. Oh, come on, come on, come on! Yes! Yes! We did it! Woo! I did it! With forks and knives! Alright, we did it, y'all. Don't let this victory go to your head. What are you laughing about? I smashed your machine up. Here's a gift from me. I don't want no gifts from you, you nasty old man. Oh! Dear. We're dead! Father, may the Holy Spirit rest with me. I'm going to die here. Okay. See you guys. It's game over. That's the end of the Let's Play. There, we're toast. There's no way we're getting off. Man, look at all that. Oh, look at that. Yeah, look at that. We got out of there. Nice. Gold Bomber! Sweet! Yay! Why am I clapping? I'm just so excited. Yay. All right, fireworks and all, man. Woo! Yeah, I gotta turn that up. I can't hear anything, really. I mean, I generally keep this down, but still. Oh, look at that. He's got, like, a step ladder. He's totally gonna do it. Thank you, Bomberman. Tell me he's getting a smooch. Tell me he's getting the smooch. I mean, we got the pilot badge, but come on, man. Give me the smooch. Come on. I'm thankful you're for your courage. Oh, yeah! <laughs> I envy you. Really? <laughs> oh, my gosh! <laughs> He's like, oh, wait, wait. So delighted. So delighted! Oh, my gosh! Yay! I can't believe I just laughed like a girl there. Oh, my gosh. That was too convincing. Yay! And they're all waving to everybody. Well, who are they waving to, you're probably wondering. Woo! Look at all the population of Bomberman here. He's like, yeah, brother, you did us proud! That's one for the home team! Man, them N64 graphics. I hope that's not slowed down on my N64, though. That might be the natural, like, look for it. it looks weird, though, to me. This looks like it's slowing down. That is so weird. Maybe that's just the way it is, and I just couldn't process it. What are we looking at, anyway? Looking at the Green Mountain, or we're just looking off in the distance? And... Gotta like that Curse of E, man. Well, guys and gals, this is the point where I'd like to say thank you all so much for watching thus far. 
it's been a fun journey. It was, I'll bet, a little short, but I had fun doing it. It was really a ball. It was a blast. And it was great to kind of just relive this game, and go through it, reading some of you guys' comments and little s smart remarks. Some of you, well, actually, there weren't too many of those, but it was good to see that it was a good, like, I don't know, I'm trying to find the right word, but I can't describe it, but I'm, I'm just so happy for you guys. Thank you. You guys are kind of the reason why all you guys who view my videos and leave little comments, even if it's like years from now, you know, I still appreciate it. So, I would normally go, oh, blah, blah, blah. This is how I felt. Honestly, my feelings are pretty simple. I really enjoyed this. This was a well worth journey. You gotta love the little remix of music, though. Oh, man. Ugh. Honestly, wasn't feeling too, like, worried about this project. I know I keep talking about, like, oh, God, am I gonna gush about it, or am I gonna just end it there? But... I felt pretty confident in this one. Compared to Bomberman 64, I felt really good about it. And I just thoroughly enjoyed being able to kind of like... I don't know, it felt like there was more dialogue and more characters I could do fun stuff with, because I do enjoy doing that. It's just when I have a game, <laughs> Pokey Park Wii Pikachu's Adventure, that has a lot of different characters to kind of give a personality and breathe life into, because that's what I kind of do when I try to, like, I do the voices. I don't just do, like, funky accents or whatever. I try to think of, like, personality-wise how they are, you know? And then I just kind of go from there and see if I can't make that come out and breathe life into it. But anyway, I gotta stop talking theatrics with you. Presented by Hudson Soft. I think I saw Nintendo up there, too, somewhere. Maybe it was Nintendo Team. Oh, man. So, if you beat the game, and you got all, all the attic bombs, and as far as I know, you got all the fives, this is what happens. Dun, dun, dun! And yes, they totally do that. They tease you. Take you to the title screen here. I guess we could watch this again. Bomber Man Hero! Ready or not, it's Bomber Man Hero! Blind through space, Bomber Man Hero. After that snowman, Bomber Man Hero. Uh oh, look out, Bomber Man! Yeah, I probably shouldn't see that to you all again. Plus, I actually don't remember the this, this next part. Yeah, so again, thank you all for watching. Love you bunches. Please don't host fun. See you all next time for the extra stuff. Do you?